Hey, sneaking out tonight. Tonight we're going to have a look at the Firefox 4 pre-build, or a testing Firefox 4, just to see how it's getting on and what it's like. And I'll show you how to do it. Basically, I'll show you on Firefox, my main one here. It goes there nightly builds. Different one every night, so it does change every night. You get Linux, Mac and Windows, although I wouldn't like to run the executable for Windows, personally. But I don't run Windows, no big deal. So I've got the Linux Intel, just a 32-bit here. And we'll come out of that. Well, first we want to do is unpack it, don't we? Unpack our tar file. There we go. We're unpacking, unpacking, unpacking. And we unpacked. So from the 11 meg download, we've got a 33, or 31, sorry. We're going to extract that. So I'm just going to extract it to the desktop and see how we get along. Takes a little while. Quite an old machine I'm using tonight. I'm not going to show the files. I'm just going to close because I know where the files are going on my desktop. Okay. I want to move it up there, but I don't want to go. I want to move out there, but I don't want to go. Okay, I'll just leave it there then. <laughs> Open the folder. Right, I'll make it a little bigger for you, so we know what you're doing. Now, you don't want to open up the bin file. That ain't going to be there. You don't want to run this one either, the Mozilla Shusha file. You want to run the Firefox script. You double-click it, and just click Run, and it will run the beta of Firefox 4 for you. Remember, it does change every night. Now, at the moment, there's not much difference. I don't want to set my main one. It's based on Minefield and Gecko, by the way. Now, my internet is really, really, really slow. And will be for the next few days, but hey. But as you can see, on their opening page, thanks for using the pre-release version. They can do quite a bit of testing for them. One of them is Litmus, which I'm about to do after I've done the video. Just to see what goes down, see what happens. You know, bits of bobs like that. And stuff like that. You can get a bit of feedback. You have to put in the stupid words over there. Well, what's happened to the last 48 hours? So if I click on there, there we go. Lots and lots and lots and lots. They are really, really getting these bugs out of the way really quickly. Apparently, it's for release in October, but I wouldn't bank on that one personally. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now, it doesn't actually look that much different from the current Firefox set. We've got extras over the corner there, a bit like Chrome, shall we say. The only one difference I would say, it does seem to stand out more for text. Well, maybe I'm not as blind as I was yesterday, one or the other. The text seems easier to read. So that's pretty good. Not too bad at all. If we go to help, uh, about Minefield. As it's Minefield. As you can see, the version I'm using, it's uh, X11, Linux, 666, the Gecko, Minefield, and a pre-build. Get to credits. If you leave that running, it'll just scroll down and loads of credits. I'm not going to do that for you, because I can't be back, to be honest with you. But the tab looks different, slightly different. There's not a lot gone on too much, but remember, we're in pre-stage here. It's not even beta, or alpha even, really. Nothing different in preferences either. I'll click on there. It's all pretty samey at the moment. But hey, this is the idea of having a pre. You can have a good look at what's going down. See, I'm going for all them bits. They're all pretty good. Oh, it looks pretty fast. Would I say it's any faster? I can't actually tell at the moment. I'm troubleshooting. You can go over and do a bit of troubleshooting yourself, but you can do it yourself. It's so easy to download and run. Just give it a go and see what you think. Remember, the builds change every night. So one night you might be lucky and get a good change. But hey, on the whole, it's not too bad. We'll see how it gets along. Sneaky Linux going out to play on my own. See you later.